All right, let's get this party started. Uh, somebody, I think August sent this to me, and I had actually seen it myself, um, and I was going to talk about it. It's Pethan, you know, the super mega detractor who still hasn't apologized. <laughs> you know, Nick is not green, dude. God bless him. You know what? Good for him. Seemed genuine. He seems to be making a solid, conscious effort to not be obnoxious. But Pethan, not so much. Anyway, he's calling out Alex Rosen, the individual who did originally uh, botch the EDP catch. But since then, he's made tremendous, uh, from what I've seen, tremendous um, strides in trying to be a better, you know, I guess, creator. But then not even that, but like actually catch bad guys, we're going to call him. It's the beginning of the video. You know how it is. He's gotten 30 plus convictions. I watched his conversation with Matt, Matt. With a Michael Knowles, which I think this video is going to talk about the Michael Knowles conversation. And I will say, anyone like I said, Alex seems to be doing, from the catching perspective, <laughs> well. He's gotten a bunch of convictions, and he seems to be operating in a way that gets people actually put in jail. He, he works with police officers. He doesn't engage in entrapment. He's very careful about the way he talks to these people. He doesn't do it to shame them or attack them because he wants to get convictions. Okay. That's a beautiful, th the beautiful thing. Now, is politics in that conversation a little bit of a different story? <laughs> They're a little farther right than I would like, but like you don't have to. You can separate those two things. However, Pethan can't. So I could be wrong. I don't particularly care for this individual because of his past content. Um, it's he's most likely going to get distracted by the politics and not focus enough on the protecting young people aspect of it. Or I could be wrong. I'm always here with an open mind. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is a banger. Maybe he's thought of things that I never would have considered. So let's just see what we got here. Hunting predators for clout. Now, just to be clear, we're all doing content for some kind of attention. It's the type of attention that is in question, right? So, for instance, if, you know, there are people who will hunt these bad people, predators, for clout. And what they'll do is they'll find them, meet up with them, and they'll harass them, they'll bully them, et cetera, et cetera, which makes it like impossible to put them in jail, right? You have to do it a very specific way. That's wrong. However, if you're somebody that's doing everything the right way and you happen to make content about it, who ca I don't care. <laughs> like, good, do it. It gives you a financial incentive to help you put away bad people. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, we all make content, and if you, if you're fundamentally, if you're saying if you make money, then you must be bad. And I'm not saying that he's saying this, but he might. But if you're saying because he makes money on it, you're bad. That means all of our content is bad. That means you can't trust anybody that makes any content ever. So let's get going. I don't remember the guy? Does anyone remember the guy that caught EDP? For those of you who don't sure. know, EDP four four five. This thing from three years ago, by the way. You know, I think everybody should be able to move forward from mistakes. Is an old YouTuber who was memed a lot, and as it turns out, happens to have a uh, attraction to minors, and actively seeks out uh, minors to have sexual relationships with, sure which is what leads me to today's subject, Alex Rosen. Now, Alex Con- Yeah, and apparently Boogie's gonna work with him for some that documentary. Honestly, I didn't think that, but Boogie impresses me with how much further down he can go every single day, just becoming like more and more of a pathetic person. I just, I, I mean, like, if that's the legacy that you want to leave. If that's the if that's the legacy that you want to leave, man. Good for you. you keep doing what you're doing, I guess. Not EDP by pretending to be a little girl and offering him to come to her house and then intercepting him in the parking lot. Uh, this Yeah, that's kind of how you do it. You use a decoy. It would be very irresponsible to use an actual kid. Led to a very awkward interaction as Alex has no power to arrest anyone and just decides to, like, milk the entire thing as long as he can for like 45 minutes asking EDP questions. What's the lowest? Sure, it was very unprofessional. And like I said, like he's moved forward and he's done a lot of good. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I think he was like 20. Alex is young. It's not like a full excuse, but it's like we have a young kid that made a pretty big mistake and he seems to be rectifying that. So it's like, you know, like, yeah, he's 23 now. So he was 20 back then. It's like, yeah, that's bad. Thank God he's doing better now, and he's changed. Thank you so much for the four-month small gut. I can't even pronounce your name. Yoshi. Dude, what the fuck? You guys pronounce that for me. Boogie's a shaman mentally broke down and turned on him. I don't care about that. Who gives a shit? 
Lowest age of consent in America. No clue is anything. 16. 16, okay. Okay, so 13 is not anywhere near 16. No. That's 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 over a thousand days away from 16. It's pretty pathetic, but it is funny. Some of the funniest parts are when Alex says things like 17 year olds are hot, but I wouldn't do anything to them. I wouldn't do anything with a 17 year old, right. but there's hot 17 year olds. Right. But okay, I mean, we're talking about a 20 year old kid saying that 17 year olds are hot, and I don't care. It's 20 years old. I don't, that's not even a problematic age, problematic age range. <laughs> like, it's like, okay. I don't go, yeah, when I see a 17 year old, I'm just like, I and the point that he's trying to make is just because somebody might look attractive if they're underage doesn't mean it's appropriate to get with them. That's his whole point. It's a weird point, which I guess, but like, you know what I mean? Like, that's his entire point. Like, okay, whatever. Can't do it. What do you mean by that? And so he and his... I mean, he was 20 here, so... Weird little cameraman are just harassing EDP and asking him a bunch of really stupid questions like, Why do you do this, man? Do you know that this is bad to do? When ultimately this is all about the money that they're making from this video. As EDP tries to walk away because legally he can, Alex calls the police for seemingly the first time ever with regards to this situation. There's somebody here in Chimita, a 13 year old girl, and he has multiple... Because he admitted everything to us on... We have all these messages saved with him. And asks them to just come pick him up? To c come get him? <laughs> yeah, they messed up. And okay. <laughs> Man, three years later, where are we at? Like, that would be awesome if that's how arresting pedophiles worked. But unfortunately, that is not the case. <laughs> Guys, come get this guy. Hey, police, come get this guy. I, he, I pretended to be a little girl. Yeah, no, a little girl. Yeah, and he said he wanted to have sex with me. No, not me. The little girl I was pretending to be. Like, what? Does this guy not know under, understand how decoys work? Like, the issue is that they didn't work with police to do this process the correct way. But, like, yes, you would basically pretend to be a young person to lure these people in because it would be incredibly disgusting and irresponsible if you used an actual 13-year-old. So this criticism is weird. Yoshi's Vinyl. That was the guy's name. Sorry. But this criticism is bizarre. What are we doing here, man? <laughs> yeah, I mean, EDP is still around. He he sold a bulletproof vest. You can book a call with him. He posted this video on January 16th. I hear this stupid ass dumb motherfucker. This motherfucker made a video talking about, oh, well, you know, I feel like the Eagles are going to turn it on. Motherfucker thought the goddamn Cowboys was bad. Oh. Hey, thanks for letting us know his website, brother. I really appreciate that. Holy Dude, he's like coming through the camera at you. <laughs> yeah. Catching EDP put Alex Rosen on the map, and he's still just out and about yelling about football on his- Alex? Yeah, Alex got a tremendous- Dude, these guys might have group chat when I shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Alex got a significant amount of backlash, justifiably for that. Even Chris Hansen um, gave him shit for that. Um, but again, he's made significant strides of change. So again, like 30 plus convictions. I mean- This private weird website. Alex Rosen also has a very uh, turbulent- online past i have a three-year-old in my basement that's like vice. sure incredibly edgy jokes i had a conversation with the guy i'll link it in the description if you want like yeah a very immature person back then again 20 years old you know you know it was on my old yeah my old main it's right here um yeah he would use slurs and stuff he thought it was funny he thought like yeah it's not good i again <laughs> You know, it's so interesting because it's usually the most like politically left streamers or content creators that are somehow the least okay with reform, even though that's supposed to be one of the biggest aspects of people on the left is different reforms. So weird. That's like lacking vitamin D. I need to give this to her. It's my birthday, so I'm being generous for one day to her. I don't think that's what you're supposed to say out loud. What? Like, why not make this video three years ago? I did. <laughs> like, why now? It's just in it's just interesting. It's just an interesting thing to do it now. Yeah. It just feels like, I don't know. I, whatever. Let me keep going. I provide her with plenty of D, just not the vitamin part. Oh, no. That's not good either. Oh, really? Not if it's a child. Well, I was tired of being a virgin, so what oh, the fuck? Wow. Yeah. You can't make these kinds of jokes and look like this. Sorry. Can't do it. Yeah, pre okay. predators ask for a lot of pictures, man. They're they're sick. Go, go ahead, take off your shirt. Do that and um, stick your tongue out tongue as you're doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My what? You promised you're 13. Yeah. Fucking.
shit. Yeah, we knew about all this stuff <laughs> three years ago. Why are you talking about it? Like, I'm not trying to be an asshole. It's just like, uh, yeah, this all gross. I remember talking about it. But, you know, incredibly obnoxious, edgy jokes um, justify. Like, he even won the conversation. He justified using the N-word, saying that he's not racist, so it's okay. Like, stupid shit, obviously. But the dude's three years later. And he's made, like, a ton of convictions for, like, predators. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. What else can you really do to, 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 in my opinion, prove that you're at least on the right track to reformation and then fucking put literal child predators in jail? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, ah, it's a pretty good one for me. You know, he seems to be doing a very good thing. <laughs> That's in front of 216 people. So I'll be honest about the decoy pick. So one of the... So one of the decoy picks, the Hispanic boy that we use, that's my cameraman's little cousin. And yeah, it's just a really dumb fucking thing to say. The white decoy do. that we use, he's 17. And yeah, I met him on PS4. We're playing Madden together. And he said he was down to do it. So so you have two minors that you use as decoys. Yes. And their parents both know. Yeah, he's. Yeah, it's dumb. Just to be clear, like Alex Rosen at that time was either 20 or younger, most likely even younger than 20 when he was saying those things, probably like 18 or 17 or 19. So just to be clear. Very inappropriate, very unprofessional, very stupid. You shouldn't be using minors as decoys. Sounds like they were like 17 years old. Still absolutely wrong. But like based on the context, it doesn't seem like he's not a predator himself. <laughs> At least it doesn't seem like it based on he's just a fucking idiot. And like he deserves criticism three years ago. <laughs> like where? why are you doing this now? You know what I mean? Like, now that he's done better, why bring it up as if he hasn't made any change? If you look at the this guy's career path, it's exponentially different than it used to be. He was more, he, he took it more as a joke back then. Like, now, though, it's, like, very different. You know, I think that there are people who absolutely want to become predator catchers just to bully people. Absolutely. And, like, I don't care about pedophile, well, attempted child molesters getting, like, bullying people or getting bullied. I don't care about them. But I want them to go to jail if they're going to set them up. Alex seems to be doing that. I get that, but his age doesn't matter. 20 or not, you shut, you're stupid, by the way. You're just an idiot. I don't know. Sorry. I shouldn't be so mean. Age absolutely matters. If you're 20 and under, like we're talking about the guy who's 20 years old acting immature. Who would have thought? I'm 33 years old. If I was acting like Alex Rosen was acting, I deserved complete cancellation. He's 20. Or somebody that's 20 years old acting immature, it's expected. Obviously, I'm going to take age into consideration. Sorry for being so rude. Like that's silly to say, oh, 20, the context of age doesn't matter. Yes, it does. You know, at the time, like, whatever picture that was where he looked like he was in, like, fucking high school uh, football. Yeah, an 18-year-old acting immature, like, who would have thought? You know what I mean? It's like, that is part of the context. Like, that does matter enough. And what matters, too, is, like, where is he at now? Like, the only reason that I'm, like, defending this guy is because I saw some of his recent content. I'm like, oh, shit, this guy made a substantial change. Like, that's something to be valued. Why not? Why don't, why don't we value that? It's always fucking lefties that are just like, no, don't don't care about the context of the past. Or like, oh, no, no, don't ref no reformation for people. Why? <laughs> what do you mean? Openly admitted before that he just uses actual minors as bait. Doesn't yeah, that's dumb and irresponsible. Now he doesn't do that. And you were just criticizing him before for, for pretending to be a minor to bait somebody. That's like a minute ago in your video or two minutes ago, you were like, he, they are not actually talking to 13 year olds. He's just pretending to be 13. So what does it matter? Like, that was the implication. That was what the insinuation I got. So it's like, what, you know what I mean? Like, you would have agreed with him based on what you just said, even though you're wrong. Like, you're, you're <laughs> I don't even know if this guy knows why he's right. Really makes sense to me. I thought you were supposed okay. to be protecting the children, not sacrificing them. And again, okay. remember, this is all for nothing. This is all so they just get content out of actual pedophiles. Yeah, now he's gotten like 30 convictions, so you can't even say that. So, of course, because the predator, hunter, anti-pedophile dog. I, mean, I don't care if you get content out of catching predators as long as you actually effectively catch them <laughs> like who cares we're all making content whistles are extremely right-wing in nature he was also on tim <laughs> okay tim pool's show where sure. i think there are definitely right-wing um like weaponization of pedophiles calling lgbtq people pedophiles when they're not absolutely i agree that's wrong a pedophile hunter should be i just decided to go throw up a fake profile of a 15 year old boy and just see what happens this guy keeps getting interviewed even though he's directly put minors in harm's way before on purpose he was recently interviewed by michael knowles of the daily wire michael knowles is like a d tier daily wire guy so i never really talk about him he's really like <clears throat> really stupid he's like the waluigi to Ben Shapiro's Mario. But he did interview Alex Rosen, and I figured I would watch the interview. Uh.
Let's see what he has to say. Michael and the pedophile hunter. They wanted a toddler. I don't believe a fucking word out of this guy's mouth. I'll be real. Because I've seen him in action. On the scale of these guys don't consider anything in the metaphysical realm to these are interdimensional demons worshiping <clears throat> Satan. Where do your marks fall? Well, you see why I can't fucking take Michael Knowles. Listen, I watched the entire thing. Michael Knowles, some of Michael Knowles' questions were fucking dumb as shit. Absolutely. And it's very clear that Alex Rosen is like farther right than I would consider <laughs> acceptable. <laughs> okay. Um, a little too far right for my uh, for my taste. But overall, the fucking convictions speak for themselves. Like, what do you want me to tell you? He seems well-intentioned. There was a moment in there where Michael Knowles insinuated that it's like mostly Democrats who are pedophiles. And then <laughs> and then uh, Alex Rosen was like, no, nah, you'd be surprised. They're mostly Republican. Or he said at least more Republican leaning. So I was like, oh, he's honest. At least he's being as honest, like an honest person about that. He could have been like, yeah, it's all Democrats. So even if I disagree with politics, it sounds like he's honest. He could have just been like, no, it's mostly Democrats, but he didn't. He was like, no, it seems to be mostly conservatives. That's from what I remember. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's easy to go in there and clip out some really cringe, weird moments of that, that conversation. All seriously, immediately, he's like, what? think on the scale of like interdimensional demons do you think these uh <clears throat> random facebook pedophiles you're catching in fuck your fucking world thank you so much for the is that was it yoshi is vinyl thank you so much for two dollars first time on stream thank you old texas town <laughs> do you think that could be alien demons the result just from the videos that i've seen from from your channel you get a little bit deeper into the conversation with these predators they pretend to be children for days and days and days you that's how Every single sting operation works, whether it's Alex Rosen or the police. I don't know if you think you're making a point here, but you're not. Seeing real pictures. Fucking creepy. He doesn't use real pictures anymore. <laughs> That's something he did in the past, which is wrong. Right? When he, yeah. But he, he doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> Just yesterday in Georgia, uh, we confronted a person who was out on bond for child porn charges. And we just showed up at his house with no messages, no nothing. We just had a phone number associated with an app that we know to be child porn related. And we talked to him for like two hours and he admitted uh, after he got out of- You have an app that gives you Predator's phone number if he uses child porn and then you found his address? No. Dress that way and then went to his house. Like No, that's not what he's saying. <sighs> there he there's an app, and I don't think that they said what the app was on in that video, but there's an app that seems to be used very mo often for child predators. So they showed up at somebody's house who had just gotten off of some kind of like conviction or some kind of charge. They went to that person's house and they started like interviewing him and got them to admit that he was like soliciting pictures or whatever. I don't know what you're talking about. What? Uh, child porn related. With no we confronted a person who was out on bond for child porn charges. And okay. we just showed up at his house with no messages, no nothing. We just had a phone number associated with an app that we know to be child porn related. Yeah, they had a phone number of his associated with an app that is like that, that predators will apparently use to exchange information. I don't remember the, I, again, I don't think he said the app. I watched this entire thing, like the actual video of him talking to Mike, Michael Knowles, so I didn't know this, but like... And we talked to him for like two hours, and he admitted uh, after he got out of... You have an app that gives you Predator's phone number if he... No, he, they had the phone number. I'm assuming it was like some kind of public information attached to his arrest. I don't really know. Use his child porn, and then you found his address that way, and then went to his house. Like, what... Are you dumb? I'm assuming that this address might have been linked to whatever arrest he had. I could be wrong. But no, they had a phone number, probably public information in some capacity. It was apparently linked to this app that, like, people will use. And then he went to his house, and then he got him to admit that he was still doing shit. That's what it ends with. I don't understand. Like, how do you mess that up? What is any of this technology? He won't name anything. He won't say what the app is called. So why would he tell everybody the app that people use to purchase child porn? <laughs> like people would probably could criticize you for showing EDP's website. You know, good, good. Thank you for, for signal boosting that. He just doesn't want to signal boost it. <laughs> wow. What a bad guy. Okay. So what got you into this? 
Well, I'm 23 years old now. Uh, I know I look <laughs> older, but you know, seeing you look uh, more mature. Right, I look yeah. more mature. Thank you, thank you. This man is 23 years old and spends all day pretending to be a child on the internet to talk to pedophiles. And uh, okay. Goes to their house. This guy's not normal. Um, I guess I don't understand. Like, what's the implication? I don't get it. But you know, seeing a you know predator's genitalia may, might age you a little bit. You look like this from before. Whenever you was screaming the N word on live stream. 19 years old, I've always wanted to be a police officer. Um, I couldn't do that in Houston, Texas, where I'm from. At 19, you got to be 21 to graduate the academy. At least that's what it was a couple years ago. I don't know now. He doesn't want to be a cop anymore. He's having way too much fun, pretending to be a little boy all day. Well, I mean, he has a somewhat successful career. Catch I, I don't understand the, like, the implication here. <laughs> I just don't really... It's so weird. Like, if you don't want to like Alex Rosen, like, be my guest. I, I get it. But, like, it's so weird... That you're so desperately trying to make it seem like this guy wants to fuck kids. Because that's what you're insinuating here when he's catching predators. <laughs> like, listen, here's the reality, okay? Before I did YouTube, um, you know, I had an actual real important job, right? I was, uh, I was, a, I was a cleaning. I managed a cleaning crew for my county's buses. It's very important. Old people take those buses. People take public transportation. It's good that they're clean and they're sanitary. That's an important job, Right. YouTuber is not an important job. What I do now is dumb, brain rot, nothing. It's entertaining for some people, but it doesn't matter at all when it comes to infrastructure. Pethan is the exact same way. Alex Rosen, however, does catch predators. His job is objectively more beneficial and more important than ours. So I just find it so interesting that that context isn't included. <laughs> all because, and this is what it boils down to, because he's right wing. That's the only reason why this, why Pethan is like shitting his pants over this guy and just trying to assert that he's a pedophile. So good, good job, man. You're doing a good thing. You know, I made a fake profile of a 15 year old boy on Grinder, and within 30 minutes, somebody wanted to meet up for sex. And it's important to remember that he literally said that he only started using Grinder because he uh, had pictures of his little brother that he posted on there. Michael Knowles. Yeah, very inappropriate. Should not be doing that. Then he doesn't anymore. So that's good. Be like, yeah, come on my show. Wow, you posted child porn of your brother. You gave that to people. Can I give you an award? Can I give you a handshake? Can I give you? I mean, I don't know that he said necessarily so that he posted child porn. He might have showed like the pictures of the kids, uh, or, like his brother, his kid brother in clothes. Still inappropriate. Um, but like you're just really strong in the, sens the sensationalizing of this topic. Five thousand dollars. The profile, just a picture of a young looking boy, or did it say I'm 15 years old? Um, well, I mean, it was just a picture of my little brother, like his face, and, um... Told you. Are you a... F I mean, it's just his face, right? So that doesn't necessarily mean he sent nudes or anything of his brother. It's still wrong. You shouldn't be doing that, but okay. Afraid of breaking <sighs> any laws? I don't know what the laws are in private sting operations, but mm -hmm. I, especially if you have a liberal DA or something, I, I could see... <laughs> a liberal DA? Michael's such a fucking idiot. Yeah. Private sting operation? I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> He's just making stuff up. I mean, it kind of is a private sting operation, though. but okay, cool. Even if it was, like, private, that would have... I would have zoned more in on, like, Michael Knowles being obnoxious, trying to make it seem like fucking liberals are trying to get pedophiles out of jail. Imply that he was, like, <laughs> licensed as a private investigator or something. No. I think it's just the insinuation that he's a private entity setting up predators. <laughs> it's not really... Okay. Who watches your content, man? Oh, this guy is a high school graduate with a YouTube channel. Then you yeah, 30 can plus convictions. I know that you know that. You watched the conversation. <laughs> Why not mention that in the beginning? The effectiveness of what he's doing. Because once I saw the effect of the reason I even covered Alex again in the first place is because I saw the effective nature of him was like 30 plus convictions. People were coming in here telling me that like he's reformed, he's changed. I looked into some of it. He's gotten a lot of convictions. The way that he acts now is much more professional. He's doing a positive thing. Like, I don't understand. Again, you're like a fucking left leaning content creator. What, what happened to the Reformation was like the biggest thing in the entire world. Like Reformation was like huge. When it came to like these conversations, why is Reformation no longer matter? Because it's Alex. I don't understand it. Do you ever go to the movies or something? Do you ever have a day off? Well, I don't take off days. I, I, I'll, I'll love to work. So luckily, I think catching predators is the funnest thing somebody can do. So it really works out well for me. That so, oh, he's so brain broken. He doesn't take off days. He just sits inside on the internet, probably scrolling Twitter all day long, talking to fucking pedophiles on Facebook, pretending okay. to be a minor every day. Unwell. 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 Maybe? I, I don't get the criticism. He's terminally online catching pedophiles. Wow. 
<laughs> I don't I don't understand. Does your audience actually eat this up? There's no fucking way. There's yeah, yeah, it's bizarre that he pretends to do that, but that's what you have to do to catch predators. That's what the police do to catch predators. They pretend to be kids. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm so confused. How are people how would how are people responding to this positively? Oh, so you go out there and catch pedophiles? And you you put in the legwork to catch pedophiles? Ha <laughs> you fucking loser. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's weird to do that, I guess. But he, the, the reason he does it is good. I couldn't do it. I would be mentally stressed by that. Uh, God bless Alex Rosen, I guess. <laughs> I don't get it. He said it's the funnest thing I can think of. His okay. Twitter is at I fight for kids. Come on, okay. dude. What the fuck is this? This is the child predator we're confronting right now. He did That's what it is. did nothing wrong. No, I, I get it, but I didn't read through all of these yet, and you know I don't want to go through every single one. I think that'd be a waste of both of our times, and so I'm not judging you. Well, I, should, I told her I couldn't meet her. Okay. Did you all like discuss doing anything? No. No? Okay. So if I were to look through all of these, there wouldn't be anything that I might be talking to you about? Shouldn't be. He's just talking to this supposed pedophile on, yeah. on his recliner. He's yes. in for tea with grandpa. Why is he like being so coy? Like, oh, I'm not going to find anything in there if I look. He's are, you, are you like an actual unironic moron? Like the reason that he's doing that is because if he comes at some kind of a predator with a lot of anger and animosity, he won't get any additional information out of him. Meanwhile, some of these people will just talk themselves into a conviction. It's so funny that at the beginning, he's like, he's just doing this to bully predators. And now you're seeing a, a, a video of him not bullying this guy to try to get more information out of him to potentially get him put away longer or to have more evidence. You're like, oh, why are you just having a casual, nice conversation about I'm like, well, dude, what's the when does it when what what does this guy have to do to win? Like, what does he need to do? Like, <laughs> what, what is it? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like nothing that this guy ever could do would ever make you go like, oh, okay, that's cool. That's a good thing. <laughs> like, okay. He's trying to play dumb and lie as if we don't have a stack of papers. What's in the stack of papers? Shouldn't be. Well, this is obviously like a plug for whatever video he's making. And by the way, yeah, you can make content out of it. As long as you're acting professionally enough to be able to get a conviction to the best of your ability, I don't care. I don't give a shit. Okay. Yeah, Mark, I'm not here to judge you. Dude. I mean, the guy, like, literally the only reason that Alex is in this guy's house is because he's being cordial to the guy. So now he's able to get into the guy's house and sit down with him and have a conversation with him and potentially get more information out of him because he's not yelling and screaming and having a fucking fit. I don't understand. Dude, like, all, look, because everybody makes mistakes, everybody talks to people. I'm not here to judge you. <laughs> Dude, I would do the same in your position. Oh my god, this guy's actually fucking dumb. Dude, like, that's what it takes to catch a predator. I don't understand. Of course she's gonna say that. What? Vision. You call yourself a pedophile hunter. What the fuck? You Are you- this guy's stupid. Say it's the funnest thing you can do! In that literal conversation with Michael Knowles, he says that he, like, he literally- he will- he says- Something along the lines of everything I'm saying now, that like I, I act nice to them, I lull them into like a sense of security so they'll give me more information. That's why I act this way. It's in that conversation. I know you know that, unless you didn't actually watch it. I did. I watched the entire conversation with Michael Knowles and, and uh, Alex Rosen. I don't like Michael Knowles, but I watched it, and that's what he says. It's like a fucking a, a, a kid with fucking traumatic brain injury could understand this better than you. I don't get it. Uh, every, every single person has a vice. Every single person does stupid stuff, okay? I'm not immune from that. You're not immune from that. But Dude! He okay. watches so much fucking, like, propaganda and, like, interrogation. On He's gotten convictions. <laughs> What? On YouTube where he's trying to establish rapport. Yeah, and it worked. He's literally in this alleged predator's house with a camera set up, and you're acting like it doesn't work. <laughs> you, he thinks that this is effective. He got into the guy's house to interview him. Of course it's effective. The guy could just tell him to leave. He doesn't have to say a single word to Alex, but he is because Alex is acting cordial. He's playing an intelligent long game. With this old man in his recliner. Does he think this is an interrogation? 
you know, I, I'm one of those guys. I'm a really, I'm from Alabama. I'm a really traditionalist guy here in Alabama. I talk to people man to man. That never precedes something positive. He's trying to like level with him and be like, <sighs> everyone does stuff like this guy. It's okay. Are you trying to get him to open up? You can't do that in someone's own fucking house. He, the fact that he's in the guy's house literally proves that you're wrong. <laughs> He clearly is not threatened or like pressured to reveal anything to He can't pressure or threaten him to reveal anything or else the information wouldn't be admissible. You can't make the person feel threatened. You can't tell them that they have to talk to you. There's so many different parameters you have to follow when working with the police to actually get people put away. To threaten this guy would make the, could potentially throw the entire fucking case out. He explains this in the conversation with Michael Knowles. He literally talks about it in the conversation. He talks about how, like, you have to act very particularly in order to get these guys captured, and it's very difficult. He talks about how he works with the police for this kind of stuff. What the fuck are you talking about? Everything you're criticizing him for is the way that you have to operate. I, I don't understand. You're literally the guy that's, like, on the line at Chipotle screaming at the worker to scoop your chicken the right way. Like, it's weird. You're just, you're, you don't know what you're talking about. Holy fuck. You, your coercion is not working. <laughs> He's probably got Jeopardy on in the corner. You might be, you might only be 13, but you are the sexiest, most beautiful woman in the world to me. Thank you so much for the uh, $5 a moosing moose. Ethan most certainly hates Daryl Davis for talking to KKK, KKK members to help them be less racist. Yeah, true. <laughs> this is because this P thing guy doesn't give a shit about anything. He's a fucking loser. Okay. Well, why'd you say it? He's like, yeah, well, I said that. I mean, that's that's exactly the problem, right? This yeah, he just got the guy to admit that he said that. How'd you say it? He's like, yeah. World to me. I watched it, yeah. Okay. Okay, so now the, what just happened here is Alex has just now been able to create and confirm the link between the messages and the guy making the messages. When Alex is like, you said this, why'd you say that? Yeah, that was me. I said that. Now the guy can't go, well, that's not actually me. He just admitted it was him. That's like, that's more information. That's more fact. That's more evidence. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Are you, are you dumb as shit? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't get it. Well, why'd you say it? He's like, yeah, well, I said that. I mean, that's, that's exactly the problem, right? This the, yeah, the problem is the guy said that. He's trying to fuck kids. Pedophile gets to be like, yeah, I said that. Straight to this moron's face, and he doesn't get to do shit about it. What he goes to the police. <laughs> Bro, this is crazy. This is wild. This guy actually, this guy actually is... Like, this guy is, I don't know, I don't know what to even think. What's most likely is Pethan is so anti-right that I personally don't know how somebody hates right-wingers so much that they're, like, more sympathetic to literal rapist, pedophiles, child molesters. Because that's what's happening here. Like, that's what you're doing here by running defense for the pedophile. Oh, he, like, the whole thing. Like, I get it. You don't like Alex, Alex Rosen's fucking politics. That's fine. Criticize him for that. I do. But the guy's getting convictions. He's doing everything to the book the right way, working with police officers. And you're and like, oh, you can't do anything about it. He takes the information that he recorded that we're all watching, and he goes to the police with it. Yeah, this guy sent this person a message, pretend like thinking it was a child, and then he admitted it on camera. Okay, cool. There you go. What's okay? He has he has information now. What are you talking about? This is all for clout. He realized Mama Max and Vosh went viral. What, what is for clout? You talking about Pethan or Alex? What is the point of what he's doing hey, other than clout, dude? He's not, dude. What's the point of what you're doing further than clout? Like, this is the thing. We're in this generation where everybody records everything. So, of course, everybody wants some level of attention. But that doesn't mean that, like, everything gets thrown away. Like, just because I want... I, of course I want people to watch my content. I want attention. That doesn't mean that I'm lying or being dishonest. I want attention for being somebody who, at the very least, is honest. Even if you think I'm stupid. That's fine. Alex, of course he wants attention. But he's doing everything by the, the book. And he's getting conviction. So, like, who cares? What do you mean? Like, he just wants attention. He's getting, he obviously wants to be effective because he's getting people put away and he's been improving over the past three years.
Uh, okay, like, whatever, man. I'm going for the handle. He's not going for the handle. There's no way. I mean, were you just no. trying to flirt with her when you said I want to fuck you? Because it definitely wasn't to push her away. I'm not, I'm not buying that. I mean, yeah, I'm out of behind. Okay, what, what's the best reason you can come up with that is actually truthful? I said, I prefer if I told her to my cat, she'd go away. Okay, but you, I mean, you texted her like four times in a row, multiple times. Well, she kept texting me first. I do think that because this guy keeps repetitively engaging these people, clearly, you can't arrest him for that. Because what do you mean? Because he wasn't talking to a little girl. He yes. Dude, this is the funniest part of the video because he, he kills one of his own arguments that he made before. He was talking to a guy pretending to be a little girl. Just to be clear, right? This fucking moron, Pethan, criticized this, this guy for using minors as decoys, which is worth criticism because it's wrong and it's dangerous. But now is criticizing him for not using minors as decoys. You can't make it up. Pethan doesn't, he doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't, he has no argument. It's always going to be Alex Bad. But he wasn't actually talking to a 13-year-old. Are you fucking dumb? Dude, you are insanely stupid. This is fucking mind-boggling. Holy fuck. It would be more productive to take a, a fucking hot spike and ram it into my asshole and, uh, than to watch this video. This is insane. You have no legitimate criticism, so you just continue to know everything he says. That's your entire... Th that's everything that you're doing. It's just no, 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 no. Yeah, it was really gross when he was using minors as decoys. You're right. I agree. Oh my god, he's not using minors as decoys. He can't even convict the guy. First of all, you have no fucking idea what you're talking about because the FBI literally uses adults pretending to be fucking minors in order to catch these people. Second of all, you're an idiot. You're just dumb. You don't even, you're just saying words. You don't have an argument. You hate this guy so much for being a fucking right winger that like you're okay with like, I guess kids getting molested or something. I don't know. I don't understand. Like, what's your argument here? Like, why even talk about this? A guy is actually being effective and catching fucking pedophiles and child molesters or uh, tr people trying to molest children. And you're here, like, running adamant defense. That's what you do. Like, that's all you're doing right now. That's all you're doing. That's your whole video. Like, that's, that's, that's it. Starbucks is like, holy fuck. This is not the person that you want on your side as a progressive. Because this is somebody who pretends to care about LGBTQ rhetoric and then runs defense for fucking child predators. And then, like, gives people more ammunition to go, like, look, see, there's another fucking lefty that pretends to care about LGBTQ running defense for predators. He's hiding amongst them, all this other bullshit. Like, you look like a fucking moron. Your advocacy for any other, like, identity group is not helpful. You're not doing any help. You're, you're this is stupid. You just hate this guy so much. Like, you look like a fucking fool. You look dumb as shit because you hate Alex Rosen because he's conservative. Just hate him for that and don't talk about it. Like, he's getting fucking people put away. Who cares? Oh my god, it's just so stupid. Your critic you have you, the only le legitimate criticisms were of his EDP stuff that is three years old when he's substantially changed, and you still haven't acknowledged all the convictions that you that he's gotten. Like, why would that's such a huge deal? He's getting criminals off the street. Why isn't that like a the, a huge factor to you? The effectiveness of what he's doing. Why don't you value like kids not getting molested? I don't understand. Like, how does that? How do you not value that? It's not illegal, unfortunately. Playing pretend, you can't bring that into court, dude. How yes, you can. Are you? Oh my god, dude, what the fuck is this guy talking? Oh my god, my fucking blood pressure is through the fucking roof. This guy is just saying like you can't go to court with, by, by by being a decoy. Then the police can never catch predators. What the fuck are you talking about? You can't go to court with pretending to be a legitimate child. And then getting somebody to like want to engage with what they what they think is a child and get them arrested. Yes, you can. What are you talking about? He literally has. What do you mean? What do you mean you can't do that? What are you talking about? That's how the entire thing works when catching these predators. You pretend to be a kid and then you get them in jail. Well, that's literally what you do. It's obviously more complicated than that, but he's doing it. I'm not doing it. Like, this guy does not know his fucking place. You're a fucking loser, nothing YouTuber that provides no value to society. I know that about myself. Alex at least gets literal child predators arrested. <laughs> what the fuck?
<laughs> this is fucking crazy, dude. I'm I'm literally going fucking bananas right now. This is crazy. I honestly can't believe that somebody has the the fucking confidence to be this unintelligent and this worthless. Like honest to God. Holy fuck. You're literally worthless. You're fucking worthless, dude. Holy shit. How are you going to sit on the couch like that, call yourself a pedophile hunter, sitting oh like this God. with him? He's such okay. a bitch for posting so fucking rude about this old man after the fact. When <laughs> what? When if you watch the videos, he's talking to him like it's his literal grandpa. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't want to have to use the texts against you. Guess I got to... What are you... What are you saying? He's rude? Talking so fucking rude. Well, what I like here is that you don't read this. The dude is literally on bond for this, this same shit. He's doing court. The child predator's phone has been seized. They will obtain warrant to go through it later. It's safe to say an arrest will likely follow soon. It sounds like this here means that they were effective and they worked with the police. So he's already on bond for the same shit. And now the phone has been seized because of this. I'm assuming because of this conversation. You're showing us that it's working while you're telling us that he doesn't know what he's doing. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't, uh, bro, this is insane. You are, you ha you are fucking insane. This is crazy. Like this is, this is fucking crazy. This is fucking crazy. Wow. This is fucking pathetic. This is this, to a lot of people, this is going to be like a self report. I, I almost guarantee you that Pethan is so fucking like he's so terminally online, fucking uh, left wing brained that he's just going after Alex for being conservative. But people are going to look at this and go, why are you running defense for literal child predators? Because that's what this video comes off as. I don't think that's what he's doing. But if people say that, that's completely valid because you're showing us in real time the seeming proof that he actually was able to get this guy's phone seized and get further repercussions for this guy while you criticize him for doing it even though that's the right way to do it. This is fucking crazy. Like, people are going to call you a fucking pedophile for this. I don't understand what you want me to tell you. Like, you look stupid as fuck. And, like, the fact that your audience agrees with you is insane. Like, I wouldn't want these people as my audience. If these... I would... If you... If I wouldn't want any of these people as my audience... Like, this is your audience. Like, yeah, this is so good. You're, this is a great video. These are the people that I never would want as my audience. Because these people are so terminally online that they don't understand, like, the positive impact of catching predators. Like, I don't know. I don't know if you guys need an education on why it's good to get rid of uh, child predators. That's a hot take, guys. That's bad. According to Pethan, that's a hot take. That predators are bad, I guess. I, I, re I really... Like, how do you, like, this is crazy. Like, you've really harvested a fucking, and you've generated an audience of people who think that this is good content. You're doomed. Like, you have, like, your fucking brain is rotted through the ground. This is crazy. Yeah, he's also not giving any other alternative. How would you do it, Ethan? How would you do it? Well, how would you catch the predators? How would you get 30 plus convictions? What's your, what's your theory? Always be careful of somebody who won't give you the right way to do something. He just keeps saying, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. But he won't tell you what the right way, because Alex is doing it the right way. That's why he's getting convictions. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> this is crazy. This is insane. About this old man after the fact. When if you watch the videos, he's talking oh to him God. like it's his literal grandpa. Yes, he's lulling. I've already said like eight times. Of course he's going to be nice to him because he gets more information out of him. He got the guy to confirm that those messages were from him. <laughs> because of the way he was talking to him. That's the whole point. I don't want to have to use the text against you. Guess I got to read them now. You know, we all have problems like this. Can you just talk to me? The oh fuck God. is wrong with you? Like, this dude probably makes plenty of money off this shit. But he Good. I, ha I hope that he does. Why would I care? Why do I care that a guy's making money off of catching predators? Who cares? As long as he's doing it the right way, working with police, and doing the best that he can to get convictions, let him make as much money as he can. Support that content. Why the fuck would it be a bad thing that he makes money on that? Because you're trying to push the narrative he only does it for money. But this guy's getting people put away. It's like the most obvious fact. So who fucking cares? He's not paying for therapy. He's not getting these guys into like a housing that's away from like anyone they could do any harm to. 
dude, I, I, I'm fucking at my limit. First of all, whose responsibility is it to provide therapy to fucking pedophile child molesters? Is it Alex Rosen or is it the fucking criminal justice system? What the fuck is he supposed to do? Get a sponsorship with better help to help the guy that wants to rape 13 year old fucking girls get some mental health help. I don't care about that guy's mental health. First of all, second of all, that responsibility is 100% on the criminal justice system. Alex's job is to work with the police to get him to put, be put into the criminal justice system. This is the biggest fucking virtue signal I've ever seen. It sounds like you want to fuck kids at this point. You're fucking so stupid. You're so fucking brain rot. What are you talking about? What do you want? You want Alex to, to come with a fucking therapist? What do you want him to do? Show up with a therapist? Like a faint? What, what, what? What are you talking about? That's not how this works. They have to go into the criminal justice system. And if, that is, if that's flawed to you, which it is probably, then that's where you can advocate for that. But the dude is putting people in jail. He's getting convictions. He's getting them put away. Is he providing them uh, with uh, mental health resources? Is he getting them a... a, a... Where's his better help sponsor? Where's his sponsor Monkey for better King help? Ghost super chatted $5. Five dollars from Monkey King Ghost. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for breaking my gooning. Also, thank you so much, Big Mac, for the dollar fifty in Canada, Canada money. It's fucking insane. This guy's gonna say anything. This guy's gonna say literally anything. Why aren't you getting the pedophiles help? <laughs> That's the job of the criminal justice system, not Alex Rosen. Dude, you're fucking rotted. Your brain is rotted. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. This is fucking crazy. That has no internet. He's not doing shit. And he gets called a hero for it by hogs like Michael Knowles. We what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's all because conservatives like Alex, and Alex is conservative. That's it. Apparently now, disliking pedophiles is a, is a partisan issue, guys. That's, that's, that's what you're saying. Whether you realize it or not, what you're saying is that apparently it's a political issue to not like pedophiles. Getting rid of pedophiles is <laughs> it's a, it's a bipartisan issue, guys. Just so you know that. It's a bipartisan issue. It's a bipartisan issue. <laughs> that's why I don't care. Like that's that's why I don't care about this guy's politics because that's what he's he, he's not a politician. He's a he's a catcher. He he gets convictions on people who are trying to fuck kids. So I can support that. Hot take, right, guy? Apparently, it's hot. According to Ethan and his audience, it's a hot take to want to not. For kids to for want to have, it's for you to not want kids to get raped it is a hot take. That's what we're hearing here. Like that's this is weird. It's it's insane. This is insane. It's insane. We've had stings where we pose as pedos ourselves. Like a guy that I, a guy that I'm about to bring up, David Dunn in Midlothian, Virginia. Yeah, I remember this one. They pose as pedos themselves on that app where like pedophiles are on, and then they pretend like they're going to try to buy child porn. And then they're able to like get information off of that, but they never buy it. He's very explicit about it. He's like, we can only go so far. We don't want to go that far because it would be disgusting. I guarantee you, Ethan's going to turn this into something. Again, I watched the full conversation. That's why I know all of this. Yeah, um, we were posing as a, as a fake pedophile online, oh, and he either messaged me or my bro. Well, and then I'm pretty sure they got him arrested. I'm pretty sure that's what I remember because he that guy had and ended up admitting. Admitting to have pictures of his little daughter and him molesting his little daughter. So what Alex did was able to help a child. And you're sitting here having a performative meltdown about it. Because you don't like what you're hearing. Oh, Posing as a fake pedophile online. Of course. I downloaded it just to, as a fake. Well, you, it seems like you're posing as a real pedophile right now, to be absolutely honest with you. The way that you're fucking acting. I downloaded it so no one else can have it. Like, yeah, actually a good thing for once. Like for pedos, because they think <laughs> that I'm a little I'm, older. Yeah, right? they, they think that I'm mature enough to have a nine-year-old daughter. <laughs> and be a pedophile, too, because you look like a pedophile. So yeah. actually, Well, if he's overcompensating, then he's doing a good job because he's gotten 30-plus convictions. <laughs> So. She video called this guy as myself, and he was telling me like, "Dude, you can't be like I'm playing as myself as a role as myself." Like, he can. He's saying he looks older because he looks like shit. 
And it looks like he has a nine-year-old daughter that he can pretend that he wants to sell pictures of so that he can get these pedophiles to admit it and then he can get convictions. So, okay. What point are you just being yourself? This is all you do. You know, I think our videos, or at least the intent of them, is to leave no doubt that these people getting exposed and arrested uh, deserve the rest of their life, if not, you know, death in prison. So what? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I was just about to. What's wrong with what he said? Ask what his, like, solution is, like. His solution is he gets them arrested and he lets the criminal justice system takes part. That's why he's showing us him getting people arrested. If you're going to start virtue signaling about the perfect way that we should treat pedophiles in the criminal justice system, you've already lost. That's a separate conversation. Alex isn't killing anybody. What he's doing is getting them arrested so that the police handle it. And if he wants them to not be alive, who cares? That doesn't matter. He's not taking it into his own hands. He's not killing anybody. He's getting them arrested for the criminal justice system to do what it does. And you're trying to make it seem like a bad thing for him doing that. Now, now you're, we're going to move on to like the obnoxious virtue signal. Is it the porn that's the driver? Are they, are they born this way? Is it so, some combination? Why are you asking him? He doesn't know. You're right. He doesn't know. That's the same thing I said in that conversation. He doesn't really know these things. Sure. Well, but like you're unreasonable in every criticism. So this criticism from you means nothing. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know how much. No, yeah, there you go. He doesn't know. A straight guy goes to prison and then, you know, all of a sudden he's a gay guy. Uh, I don't know. That's kind of wouldn't seem genetic to me. True. But and it wouldn't be that he was abused as a kid. It was maybe it's just some other. So I guess what? I'm just trying to. Dude, these guys never. If you want to hear my take on those things, you can go watch the full conversation I have in the description. I don't feel like going through it again. The problem with this video isn't like in my video. I was reasonable. I'm like, yeah, he doesn't know these answers to this. Yeah, it's a good, like, this, Pethan's, everything that Alex does is wrong, according to Pethan. He doesn't know why he's wrong. So, like, uh, that's what it boils down to. If he was being reasonable, he's like, oh, yeah, Alex is doing a great job, but the daily, the conversation with Michael Knowles was cringe, that video, this, that would be fine. I wouldn't care. But that's not what this video is. This video is, is an attempt to completely slam against Alex for fucking catching predators the right way. It's insane talk about fucking anything how am i gonna get through the rest of this video you know in sixth grade you know some kid had his phone now he's like oh alex look at this and it was like porn but i don't like 11 year olds i don't like 14 year olds i like adults just when i thought i was out they pull me back in <laughs> i don't like 11 year olds i don't like 13 year olds i like adults guy who okay. is definitely only into adults thank you for i mean you're the one that's defending predators right now so <laughs> i don't know for specifying everybody has their vices so I don't know. Um, I've asked people like, is there a certain child porn video you like to view the most? Like, Why would you ask that? You know, okay. In some sense, I don't know. I'm not a tech guy, but I assume you have to kind of download it in order to even look at it. Like I have to, I have to download a file if I want to read the file, even if it's right. What I, I, I took like seventh grade computer. Yeah, yeah. But I think, yeah, I took seventh grade computer too. And I think I know what I'm talking about. When you want to look at an image, you have to download it. Is, is the predisposition for them. You mentioned they they're weaker which might be that they just haven't cultivated habits of virtue, right. or it might be that they just are, are born with a, a weaker uh, resistance to these things. Is it just because they're idiots? Are they idiots? Yeah, I'd say a lot of them are, but you know, I- Okay, Michael Knowles is a fucking idiot. What kind of question is that? Yeah, it's a bad question, but okay, you're being unreasonable on everything else, so it's not like you're- your take on this is productive at all. Pedophiles, pedophiles, because they're stupid. This is genuinely the worst place for Alex Rosen to be telling people how pedophiles get caught. He might be teaching some people in Michael Knowles' audience how to avoid that kind of thing. We had a pedo in Wyoming who came to drink baby's blood, like essentially adrenochrome, <laughs> and people say that just doesn't happen, so I don't know. Did you find some? Did he say he wanted to have sex with the... Oh yeah, that that was that, that was. We're almost done with this guy's video, and he hasn't mentioned once that he gets convictions. Just to be clear, that's how honest he is. Part of it. Yeah, the blood was yeah. the hors d'oeuvre. I'm trying to think. My wife in the chat, the behavioral specialist, says that's actually a very interesting clinical question. So apparently, Pethan, an actual licensed master of social work, thinks that some of the questions Michael Knowles are asking, even though Michael Knowles is a fucking moron, are interesting clinical questions from a social worker and a behavioral perspective. So I guess we're both stupid, Pethan. Probably because both of our jobs are worthless. Meanwhile, the jobs of people like my wife and Alex Rosen, they actually provide value to society. It's an incredible, beautiful thing. It's fun to be self-aware sometimes, isn't it? He wanted to literally, I think something with I mean, this was in 2022, so my mind's kind of going blank, but it, like he just would have had the most depraved mind we've ever seen from anybody.
That, that was his thing. And even just a couple days ago in San Antonio, we caught a guy um, and he wanted to give a to what we said was an autistic five-year-old. Jesus Christ. So, I mean, they have no limit. I mean, you know. That is. That involves. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Uh just shock value he says like autistic five-year-old like it's some crazy thing you came up with that motherfucker that was what do you mean that is crazy i mean that would make the five-year-old even more vulnerable i don't understand like what what is your criticism it was your character that you made up why uh -huh. did you do that he why does why are people attracted to that is like my actual question hey why did you pretend to be an autistic five-year-old I don't know. Why is why are predators trying to rape five year old autistic kids? Is my question. Like, what what is wrong with you? He about to be like, yeah, Chris Hansen. They had the thirteen year olds, twelve year olds. We have five year olds. We have four year olds. They wanted a toddler. We push it to the max. We make these guys go crazy for babies, and then we don't arrest them. I They're not police officers but they get convictions. I think there's a lot of producers that we have caught that we just don't even know about. What, because you didn't ask? And I'm, then I ask him the question straight up. I'm like, how many times do you have? And he's like, two to three times. And he says that right on camera. Then we call the cops and he admits it in front of the cops. And uh, right now it's an open investigation on him. And I think it's gonna be our longest sentence when it's all said and done. He admitted it on camera. He he, yeah. he admitted it to the cops and it's an open investigation. Can't yeah, the investigation is ongoing. God. Okay. Ignore the fact that by this point in the conversation, they've already brought up that Alex has gotten 30 plus convictions. Ignore that part that Pete is intentionally not showing you. If the investigation is still open, then the investigation is still open. There are particular parameters that have to be followed in order for these things to go through. So you're saying that him getting to the to the, getting this guy to admit it in front of police officers isn't going to help? Okay, cool stuff, man. This guy, this guy has fucking this guy has literal brain rot. Like this, Pethan online is like actually worthless. Like I already knew Pethan was a fucking disgusting demon, fucking loser. Um, from what the whole situation with Super Mega, where he encouraged his girlfriend to sensationalize like the thing that happened to her and try to cancel Super Mega and make it more about canceling Super Mega rather than actually like talking about the guy that allegedly did the terrible thing. But like this, this takes the fucking cake, dude. Like you're running defense for child predators at this point. Whether you mean that or not is it is irrelevant. But that's what you're doing. Like you, you're like you're naysaying everything. It's just gross, man. Like, this guy's disgusting. This guy's not worth anything to anybody. Like, honestly, like, this is fucking pathetic. This is, like, pathetic. Like, this goes beyond, like, YouTuber drama. We're at a point now where, like, you're an actual pathetic, worthless person. Like, you don't, like, you're just a loser. This is gross, dude. This is just gross. Like, you're so desperate for content that this is the way that you want to represent yourself. It's fucking, I honestly, I, I, it, like, what a self-report. That's crazy, man. You're talking about how Alex is doing this for clout. You're very clearly doing this for cloud because you're not saying you're not making any arguments. You're just naysaying everything and you get constantly getting caught in your own arguments. Oh, Alex is bad because he's only pretending to be a minor. Oh, but it's also irresponsible to use minor as decoys. I obviously agree with that. But like you don't know where your argument is because all you're doing is naysaying everything. There's no intelligence. There's no actual way that you're parsing through this information. It can't be like the ends justify the means when you've only gotten like 40 people arrested out of like six hundred stings dude get what what sorry listen i don't know <laughs> only 40 only 40 it sounds like he's getting better at the stings as time goes on now if you had some kind of an information or speculation that you think that he's doing more harm than good because he should be getting more people arrested that would be a fine argument to bring up you haven't the first time that you brought up that he's actually got people arrested was at the end of the video, which is intentional because he's priming his audience. He's trying to prime his audience from start to finish to show you that Alex is a bad person um, that is ineffective, even though he's very effective. And he shows it at the end so that he Mike can say... Mike P. Funk became a well, member. I put it in my, well, I put it in my... Well, I put it there. I did put it in the video that he did catch some people. So uh, plausible deniability. Hopefully Alex gets better at catching predators. But 40 is, you know what's interesting? It's more than I've gotten convicted. God bless.
That's 40 people that are going to be hopefully less negatively impactful to children. <laughs> like why, why, what, dude, like I, I wonder if this guy doesn't even understand the stakes that are here. Like you understand we're talking about like real people, right? We're talking about like real children that could potentially get traumatized by every single one of these predators, right? Like you realize that that's who we're talking about. We're not talking about like fucking amorphous blobs of nothing. We're talking about real kids. It's very clear to me that you don't care about, I, I mean, you're so obsessed with hating conservatives that you don't like, that you hate kids. I don't, I, I don't get it. Or that you're not considering them as part of the factor. Because any normal person that didn't like Alex because of his politics and saw what he was doing would just probably not talk about it. They'd be like, mm, I think this guy's a loser uh, and his politics suck, but like, I'm not going to talk about it. Because what could you really say as a criticism? Well, you could do this. <laughs> this is what you could do. At this point, we have an arrest in 44 different states. An arrest in 44 different states. So one per state out of okay, cool. 600 stings. Uh, convictions. How many do you have again? I'm just curious. 30. But that's a really nice way to not say how many. So how Oh, okay. So he has convictions. Good job, man. Good job for downplaying that. How many stings have you done? Oh my gosh. Um, I think close to 600 over the years. God damn, dude. He basically does nothing. He He's lucked out every time he's really caught someone and actually gotten them convicted. Or he's getting more effective as the years go on, and he's actually trying to get convictions at a higher rate, especially after the EDP debacle. That would make more sense to me, considering he's getting convictions. So he probably didn't have a lot of convictions in the beginning, and now he gets more convictions because he's gotten better at it. And as you were sitting there criticizing him for the way he was talking to some pedophile grandpa, he got that guy to admit he sent those messages and said disgusting things to what he thought was a child. And it seemed like it was effective. So he's getting more effective as time goes on. What's the criticism here? <laughs> what's the criticism here? Like, what's the actual criticism here? You compounded him from three years ago into who he is now, even though those are drastically different people. Very clearly. Such a grifter. Anyway. <laughs> oh, ironic. I'm done watching this now. This pedo hunter stuff is really gross, really exploitative of people's emotions. And ultimately, it's very self-serving. That's an ironic. Thing for this particular predator hunter. You I think that when it comes to this type of content, when people don't make the content to catch people and I, that's the problem people will and i'm happy that youtube did something about it by making it so you had to have police in the video if you made a video on youtube but if you're just making the content to bully somebody that's like a pedophile i think that's wrong because you should be trying to get that person off the streets and when you set somebody up to just confront them and bully them and then the cops don't get involved it makes them more aware of what to be careful of next time they engage with somebody um, that they think is a child because what happens is is when you're engaging with somebody they're sitting there and there's red flags right because it's an adult it's not an actual child talking to them so they're they're probably hearing red flags of like oh this person said this this but i want to fuck a kid so bad i'm gonna i bypass it that's what they're thinking and then they meet up and like oh it's an adult if you're not there with the police to get this guy arrested to the best of your ability that guy now gets away with it and now he's like okay I, I remember these red flags i'm gonna make sure i avoid that next time somebody asks me this question and now that person is more effective at dodging getting caught so that's why you need to work with police officers because it will like to actually get these guys off the streets is it a hundred percent foolproof uh, probably not but alex seems to be getting better and better every day getting more and more convictions proportionally he's probably getting exponentially more convictions now than he ever has been and if he isn't getting convictions i would imagine that he's still working by the protocol to do the best that he can with that information but like ethan this pethan guy couldn't ever articulate anything i just said because he's a fucking moron that doesn't know what he's talking about and he's just desperate for money and attention and a year from now we're gonna see where he stands and where everybody else stands where we'll see where he stands where i stand and where alex stands that's all i can say and i guarantee you that he's gonna be on the floor probably trying to fuck a little kid like blow a little kid or something because by the way that he's talking now this is fucking child predator defense mechanism here it's insane you couldn't even put edp in jail anyway go touch some grass thank you so much for watching Ironic. click the like button or the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video Jesus Christ, what a fucking, what a cretin.